Hello and welcome PHP Storm friends. In this video, we're taking a look at what PHP Storm has to offer regarding styling your favorite ID. Of course, this comes down to your personal taste, but by showing you what I would do, you will get a good feeling about what is possible. So let's get started. We're going to start with a brand new PHP Storm 2019.3.2 version and I'm going to open my Laravel 6 project, which I have here. So let's take a look at what this basic layout looks like. I'm going to open up a user model and now we can see a little bit more about the code itself and about all the feature that PHP Storm has to offer right from the beginning. So in this first part of this video, we're going to deal with the overall color scheme and the font and the sizes. And yeah, to improve that, we're going to install a new theme. To take a look at all the themes that are available for PHP Storm, you can go to the plugins page and tag theme, and then you will see all the themes that are available for your IDE. We're going to start with this material theme UI theme, which is quite popular and looks really nice. To install a theme with PHP Store, we're going to need to go to the settings and then to the plugins. And now we're going to look for a theme called material theme. And here we have it. Okay, let's install it. After that, we also need to restart our IDE. So let's do this. Okay, here we are again, and now PHP Storm prompts us with this installation guide for the material theme. Okay, let's start it. Now we need to select one of these color schemes. We're just going with this first one here, which looks pretty nice. And we're also going to go for this default contrast. Next, we can select a kind of highlight color, and we're also fine with that as well as these default settings. Okay, we're good to go. And now let's open PHP Storm. And here we are now with our brand new theme. Let's get rid of these pop-ups here and let's take a closer look. So I already like the colors. And here on the left, you can see that we now have nice little icons for the directories and also for the different file types. So that's pretty cool. What I'm not yet satisfied with is here this font and the sizes. So what we can do about that. Let's go back to our settings page. And when we search now for the font. So you can see the current color scheme font is Menlo and the size is 12. And we want to change that. ChatBrains just released a brand new font which is called ChatBrains Mono. So it's a typeface they um, developed themselves for, yeah, you guessed it, for developers. So that's pretty amazing. And by looking at all these features that are here on the side, yeah, it looks like this font is pretty amazing. So let's just give it a try. I have already installed the font on my machine. And when we now search for this ChatPrints monofont, yeah, here it is. We can select it and I want to go to a size of 22 and line spacing 1.8. Let's apply that and take a closer look. As you can see, I like my code to be pretty big and good to read. This way I can concentrate at one line or chunk of code at a time. But now we also need to check our console. You can see that this is still the old font, so let's change that as well. This can be done under the console font menu. And we want to select here ChatPrints Mono as well. And let's go for 20 and 1.6 here. Oh, perfect. This looks good now as well. So let's get rid of that again. And yeah, I think now we are ready with our theme. We have a nice color scheme. We have these nice little icons here on the side and also our font looks pretty amazing. So that's a good start. Now in the second part of the video, I want to deal with all these little icons, windows and buttons 
we have like here the tabs on the top or here on the left these shortcuts to other tool windows like favorites or structure or the one for the terminal which we have already used or here on the button we have some information about the file and then on the top right we have debugging features and there are as well these browser icons to open a file directly in the browser. And of course all these features are pretty nice but I like my IDE to be pretty clean so let's take a look at how we can customize that. Okay let's start with this status bar here at the bottom. I really don't need it so let's get rid of it and we can do it by opening this global search and then search for the status bar and here we have it already and now inside the search you can already toggle this status bar and it's pretty amazing because you don't have to go to the configurations and to the settings yourself you can just search for it and toggle it here right in the search pretty cool and now as you can see the status bar is gone okay what else can we do and then we have this tool window bar so that's here on the left where we have our tool windows and again, we can search for tool window and here we have hide tool window bars and then toggle it and now it's gone. So again, very easily you can do this within this global search. All right, let's get rid of that as well. So what else do we have? Here we have these tabs. So I personally don't like to use tabs because they just distract me. I already know which file I am here through the navigation and I don't need to see all these tabs up here. Of course, this comes down to your personal taste, but if you don't like them, like it's the case with me, you can search for tab placement and now you can see here, you can define where you want these tabs. You can put them on the button, on the left, or like me, just get rid of them. Mostly I use some other shortcuts to go to my recent file, but we're going to see these functionalities and how to navigate in your project in another video later. Okay, tab placements are gone. Next up, we have these browser icons here. So when we again search in the global search for browser pop-up, now we have to go to the settings, but we can do this here. And now you can see you can define all the browsers you want to have here and you can also define if you want to show them. Let's uncheck this, apply and now they are gone as well. Okay, pretty good so far. Now the only thing left here at the buttons are these breadcrumbs and we can also define if you want to have them here by searching for breadcrumbs and then define if we want them at the button like we do or get rid of them. I personally like them, so let's keep them. So I think they are of good use down there. So the only thing missing now are now these icons here on the top right for debugging. And these are a little bit different because we have to manually delete them. When we search for menus and toolbars, there is this part here in our settings and then we are now talking about the main toolbar and the toolbar run actions so we have these three here and these two as well so we can select all of them and now delete them by clicking here on remove and if we apply it they are gone and the same works for select run and debug configuration Click it, gone. Of course, if you want to get them back at, at any point, you can do this here by restoring them. But for me, this already looks good. So now the only thing missing is these run anything and search everywhere icons. But is, these are not these two. There are two others down there in the navigation toolbar. And when we now remove them, they are gone as well. All right, looks pretty good to me so far. So we have installed this new theme called Material Theme UI, which gives us these nice colors and these nice icons for our sidebar. Let's get rid of the structure so we can see the sidebar again. And we have also defined this new font. We're using the JetBrains monotype. And we've also got rid of all these icons at the buttons of the screen that we maybe don't use. 
Again, all this comes down to your personal style, but PHP Storm gives you a lot of flexibility yeah, to style the IDE to your needs.